Hi, welcome back to Physics Form 4 Gas SM. Today we continue Chapter 4 Heat on Topic 4.4 Gas Laws. Let's get started. So you can refer to your textbook on page 148. Okay, now when we discuss about gases, we always refer to kinetic theory of gases. Actually, kinetic theory of matter. Now we refer to gas. Okay, the first one. The size of the gas particle is negligible compared to distances between them. So gas consists of very tiny particles. Huh? So we can say it is negligible. As a particle size is below the threshold of significance, we consider it to be zero. Second, the collision of the molecule with the wall of the container or vessel are elastic, meaning it rebounds, huh? it does not stick together. There is no energy loss in the collision. Gas molecule move constantly in random direction. Random means no specific direction. With a distribution of speeds, overall they have an average kinetic, yet average velocity. So the average kinetic energy of the particle is proportional to temperature. Or we can say as temperature increase, the molecule will move faster at higher velocity, then average kinetic energy is also higher. So you must know this kinetic theory of gas in order to explain gas laws later. Okay, now in this topic, we will discuss three characteristics of gas, pressure, temperature, and volume. The pressure we denote as P, eh? capital P. Volume denote as V, eh? capital V. Temperature is capital T. So how pressure of the gas is produced? So gas molecules always move randomly. When gas molecules collide with the wall of container and rebound, a force is exerted on the wall of container. Force per unit area is, pro is uh, pressure of the gas. So if you still remember during collision, eh? When there is force uh, acting in collision, we call it impulsive force. So the temperature. Temperature is related to kinetic energy of molecules. So average kinetic energy of gas molecule increases with temperature. Volume. Gas molecule move freely and fill the entire space of container. Volume of gas is the same as volume of its container. Okay, now as we know, Gases have low density and can be compressed to smaller value. When we talk about low density, means the separation between molecules is very large, meaning there are uh, larger eh, empty space between molecules. Thus, it is easily compressed to smaller volume. As you can see, from A to B, eh, it can be compressed. Okay. Okay. Now let's discuss about SI unit symbol and other unit for the three properties of gas. Pressure P, the SI unit, we use Pascal. The symbol for SI unit is Pa, or we can use other unit like cm mercury, or millimeter mercury, or atmosphere, or meter of water. It depends on the situation discussed. Okay, temperature T, the SI unit is Kelvin, or capital K. Other unit that we always use is degree Celsius and Fahrenheit. Volume V is meter cube. So other unit we can use is millimeter cube, cm cube or milliliter. Okay, now let's discuss, discuss the first law, Boyce law. This one shows Boyce law simulation. So let's look at here, temperature. We make it constant at the value of 300. So inside here, there's a gas or air. So we put a load here, so then it able to move the piston down. Okay, what we, what we observe here, once we add load, the gas or the air will be compressed. So once compressed, the volume decrease. When volume decrease, the reading of the pressure meter here increase. That's why here you can see here, when the volume of the gas decrease, pressure increase. Okay, so this one actually stated by Boyce law, which states that pressure is inversely proportional to volume for a fixed mass of gas at constant temperature, or we can write as P directly proportional to one divided by V, 
or we can uh, read as P is inversely proportional to volume of the gas. So P equivalent to K bracket 1 divided by V. So from here we can say the product of PV, eh, P times V is equivalent to K or constant. So if a gas experiences a change in pressure and volume for condition 1 to, to condition 2, so since we have PV equals to K, thus we get P1V1 equals to K and P2V2 also equals to K. So the conclusion we can get here, P1V1 is equals to P2V2. So actually this one is Boyce's Law eh? equation that we can use to solve some of the calculation problem. Can you please refer to your textbook, Experiment 4.4? So, this experiment is to relate uh, between volume of gas and pressure of gas. That is Boyce's Law. So, inference. Volume of gas experiences pressure of gas. Or we can write pressure of gas is depends on volume of gas. Hypothesis. The smaller the volume of gas, the higher the gas pressure. Aim. To determine relationship between volume and pressure of fixed mass of gas at constant temperature. Okay, variable, we have manipulated variable, volume, capital V, responding variable, pressure P, constant variable, temperature and mass of air. So apparatus needed, 100 milliliter shrink, rubber tube, pressure gauge and retort stand. So you can look at the arrangement, it's very simple arrangement. What we do, we just clamp uh, the shrink to the retort stand and set uh, the the reading uh, or the move the piston until the air inside here shows the volume of 100 milliliter value. Okay, now the used rubber tube connect to a boarding cage or the pressure cage to record pressure. Okay, we record in the table here. What we do initially, we pull the piston until the reading shown here is 100 milliliter. So you can record the initial reading of the pressure cage record here and then what we do we push the piston down until the reading is 90 then we record the value of pressure we push until 80 then we record the reading of P you repeat for until you are using volume of 70 and 60 until you get five set of data then you calculate for the value of 1 over V or reciprocal of volume because later we want to plot a graph of P against 1 over V so you calculate here. Okay, what conclusion that we can get? Okay, based on the graph that you plot, like plot a graph of P against 1 over V. So from the graph, we can relate uh, between P and V. Okay, discussion uh, based on this uh, experiment. Why is a shrink of larger volume used? Okay, so the shrink of larger volume used because... I make correction of it. Okay, discussion. One, why is a shrink of larger volume used? So to produce larger change in volume of gas. The pressure of gas does not show clear change if there is smaller change in volume of the gas. If you use smaller uh, shrink, you just can produce a small change in volume. Sometimes the small change in volume of gas does not show difference in the change of reading in the pressure. So that's why we need to use a larger shrink eh, to produce larger change in volume of gas. Why is piston pushed slowly into the shrink? The piston is pushed slowly into the shrink to prevent increase in temperature due to drastic move of piston. So because if you move uh, so drastic uh, the piston, it will create a heat energy uh, that will change the temperature of the gas. So when temperature of the gas change, the relationship no longer valid. So from here, we can conclude that volume is inversely proportional to the pressure applied. So there is voice law, so equivalent to P1V1 equals to P2V2. 
Okay, so you plot a graph of P against V, you get this graph. Huh? P is inversely proportional to volume. So if you plot P against 1 over V, you get P is directly proportional to reciprocal of volume. So this is what we get through the uh, experiment. Huh? From the data, you can plot two graphs here. So graph P against V shows pressure decreases with volume. Graph of P against 1 over V, however, shows straight line passing through the origin. This shows that pressure is inversely proportional to volume. Okay, now we always use kinetic theory of gases to explain Boyce law or gas law. What we want to discuss by using kinetic theory of gases. So figure shows a fixed mass of gas compressed at constant temperature. When the volume of gas decreases, the same number of molecules move in a smaller space. Therefore, the number of molecules per unit volume increases. This causes the rate of collision between molecule and the wall of container to increase, meaning force per unit area on the wall also increases. So we can say pressure increases. So you can compare initial volume here. So the molecules have a very large space to, to move freely here. So once the volume decreases, now the, the same number of molecules is inside a small container. So what happens, they will cause frequency of collision eh, between the molecule and the wall increases. So when the collision in, rate of collision increases, so pressure increases. So we have here PVT triangle, eh, PV pressure, volume, and temperature. So for Boyce law, temperature is constant. So you could just close T here, so you can see PV. So meaning for Boyce law here is P product is P times V, or PV equals to constant. Thus we have P1, V1 equals to P2, V2. Okay, now let's look at some of the calculation problems. So we have a simple problem one. If a pressure of helium gas in a balloon has volume of 4 liter at 200 kilopascal, what will the pressure at 2.5 liter? So for the problem solving involving gas law, no need to change to SI unit uh, because both sides, eh, the unit will be cancelled. Okay, look at the uh, solution. Eh? So we use Boyce law, P1, V1 equals to P2, V2. So you just substitute here, P1, 210, uh, V1, 4, P2, we want to find V2, 2.5. So you just solve this one, you will get P2 equivalent to 340 kilo Pascal. So it's quite simple. Eh? So you know which one, uh, P1, V1, P2, V2, so you can solve the problem. Look at the sample problem too. We have air in a closed string. I have volume of 60 cm cube and pressure 108 kilopascal. The piston push to compress the air to volume 48 cm cube. Calculate pressure. Okay, so you just list down P1, uh, 100 kilopascal. P2 is the compressed air pressure. V1 is 60 cm cube. V2, 48 cm cube. So you use Boyce law. Temperature gas does not change, meaning Boyce law. So we have P1, V1 equals P2, V2. Normally we know uh, this uh, a problem is about uh, Boyce law because no mention about temperature. So meaning temperature is constant. So we solve this one, we get P2 equivalent to 135 kilopascal. So this is all about Boyce law.